Hey everyone and welcome to Space Engineers. I haven't played this game for quite a bit and they have updated a lot of stuff. Uh, mainly I want to focus on the wheels and pistons and they also added a lot of other functions. It's amazing what they've done with this game. The wheels actually look like wheels now and you can build proper vehicles now. It's pretty awesome. Uh, this is my death station which is supposed to be a death star but I <laughs> haven't really completed it as you can see there's the frame it's massive and I have two more stations one is in there the gateway and vehicle testing facility is there even though I built the vehicle in here stop driving please stop there we go and I'll show you this vehicle first and then I'll show you how to build one uh, this is a proper vehicle as you can see. There are no more thrusters and no more uh, gyroscopes to drive the vehicle with. Uh, earlier you did need uh, gyroscopes and stuff. Oh, 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 oh. I need the uh, heart just in case. Uh, without artificial mass the vehicles still don't work. Even if there's gravity they still keep floating. I'll show you if I turn the power off. See, it just starts floating even though there is gravity in here. They need to fix this. Uh, but what I really like there is handbrake as you can see the wheels turn also suspension and stuff you can uh, limit it if you want the front wheel steering or whatever you want you can limit all this I have a four wheel steering and four wheel drive and also I have this kind of thing these are the pistons um, you can build the stuff and what I really like if you press G you can map anything into the quick slots which is pretty awesome I don't know what the hell this is maybe if I fill it one I don't know I can't switch between them but it doesn't matter that's what I wanted to show for example if I track the wheel and here as you can see you can um, for example uh, we could put steering on and off which uh, could make it into like front uh, wheel steering if you want can do pretty much everything and this is a really really awesome function decrease power decrease power it's it's a lot of stuff they added as I said I haven't been messing with it but it's pretty obvious you know and this was one of the earlier vehicles which is pretty much crap I'm gonna just punch it with these pistons and see what happens let's do it whoa <laughs> that's awesome oh no it's floating oh shit I need to salvage it before it floats into the space. See, that's that's the fucking problem. There is gravity in here, one G, and it just keeps floating. So I need to turn the power on. Oh shit! No, 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 no! Don't, don't fall on the fucking thing. Okay, it blew up. Whatever. The wheel came off. What the fuck happened? The whole reactor blew up. Why? I'll put the new reactor in there because it keeps floating away. Oops, wrong thing. I don't know why it does that. Maybe I'll make a small hole in there and another generator in there. And let's go punch it again. This vehicle is more stable, but still it's very glitchy. We have a light. And I'm gonna punch it again. <laughs> That's the puncher. I haven't really named it. Well, I have actually. It's carrier C. Let's do it. Boom. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I wanna do it again. Come on, come here, you fucking car. Oh, oh, no, 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 what the hell was that? Fuck off. Why did it flip itself? Come on, it's bullshit. But anyway, I'll show you how to add the pistons. Maybe I can actually flip it. Crouch in here, take this off. Uh, put this piston uh, this way flip it around no nope, flip it around like this there we go and I think with this piston I can actually salvage it let's try uh, outside view let's 
going on? Uh, it doesn't allow me outside view. Okay then, why? Okay, there we go. It's just upside down, that's why. Uh, oops, wrong button. Uh, which, th that's the piston. Uh, reverse, that's what I want. And we have to put also the force for the piston, which is this one, I think. Da -da 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 -da. And let's try. What the fuck? Why did I fell out of it? Okay, the cockpit just broke. Fuck you. <laughs> but that's how you can build vehicles in here, and I can show you how to build it real quick. Even though I just flipped it, another one, and a big dent in my dead star. Dead station, sorry. Uh, so we go into a new place. And all you do is just press G, new small ship. You can build a big one if you want. It still starts with this kind of thing. Then you just need basically a few blocks in here. And just change the color for it. It's uh, B if you don't know which button it is. Uh, that's pretty much all you need. Delete this one. Then we need wheels which are here. The medium one should do. And I'll show you which way to put them. Well, obviously not this way. Uh, this is the correct way so that thing on the right, that arm thing, should go on top, see? I'll put four of these. I just have to flip them around. I think I need... Come on, it's already flipping around. What the fuck? I didn't even touch it. Come on! For fuck's sakes. This is very difficult to build it like this, but anyway. <coughs> Of crying out loud. Stop it. I just want the wheel on it. And then I can... Oh my god. There we go. Then I can just put the generator on it. Well, memo to yourself. Don't... For fuck's sake, where's it going? It just keeps going away. We need the artificial mass real quick with and a, no not the gravity generator small generator and artificial mass which is here. Oh for fuck's sakes. No I did it correct. Let's put the generator and artificial mass. There we go. Fucking sit down. Uh, this is uh, one of the first things to do once the wheels are in place so it won't keep on moving. But once the wheels are in place then you can build something or not but to control all this you need to put the cockpit in there and that's what I'm gonna do right now I just build a small space for it oh my god what the heck was that come on stop moving and once the cockpit is in place you go in there press K Take off the thrusters, put the wheel control on. And there you go, you can control it. And the wheel control, it goes uh, into the front of the cockpit. So if you look in the front, then that's how the wheels turn, left and right. And pistons, I already showed you how it works, so pretty simple. They're just still so glitchy, they just keep bogging out and stuff. I don't like it. But other than that, it's pretty easy to build a vehicle that is actually driving. But it's also easy to flip them. Very easy. As you can see, you can change all this. You can change the wheel power, you can change the friction, strength, damping, blah blah blah. There is no steering though. You can turn the wheel steering off if you don't like it. As I showed you before, you press G and you can drag and drop the wheels from here. Also, to group the stuff, all you do is hold down control key and select them one by one. And for example, uh, you could put wheels in here and save. And what this gives you is you can just next time click on the wheels which is on top of your list and you can change all of them at once. And also it gives you the control over this. 
that is the group of the wheels so I can just drag it in here and for example um, could put steering on off let's just try I just show you see it will steer press number one and that's it wheels no longer steer and press one again and we have steering so that's that's very good for like grouping generators or guns or anything you like to turn them on and off at once or like the pistons which I did with that other one I had them grouped like that and that's how they work together Boom. and I flipped another one I don't know why they flip like this it's absolutely stupid but anyway I want to build a monster truck next time and show you that but here you have it that's how you can build vehicles and use the pistons pistons also give you um, give you ability to build complex machines like uh, some kind of doors big blast doors if you like and you can build pretty much anything you can build ramps closing ramps opening ramps for example I could there's another vehicle in there I could build a big ramp in there which actually closes and opens unfortunately I don't think you can close the ramp upwards maybe you can if you place the pistons under angle and stuff it's uh, it's possible but it's complex I haven't tried it but an easier way to uh, close this kind of thing I will just make a big door over it and make it slide open and close you need more than one piston though because one piston pushes I think three blocks block length I think so you will need about three pistons on top of each other and hide them all behind here and then it could pull and push this big door thing you just have to measure it correctly and all that but but it's cool they need to add some sort of um, uh, some sort of system how you can um, select everything at once for example if I want to select this whole vehicle in here I could just select it and either move it or delete it and same with like attach things for example this ramp in here should make some kind of system that allows me to select this whole ramp and I could move it either upwards backwards anywhere like that that would be absolutely amazing function but a bit difficult to do maybe like grouping that I group all these objects that are attached to each other uh, I don't know or just an area based selection or something like that but anyway I'll leave it for uh, for now and try to have some fun with wheels which are still spinning and some pistons and maybe build some build some uh, battle bots <laughs> I don't know I have some obsession with battle bots maybe I could build few and then we could have a little fight with battle bots with friends and see how it goes but I hope this helped you uh, to understand how you can build working vehicles without thrusters and gyroscopes now so I'll see you next time <laughs>